Uh, this is tenured Christian professor at Illinois Wheaton College, Larcia Hawkins. So uh, she did what uh, others around the country is doing. We uh, reported a woman in Conway, Arkansas, who is a local librarian who decided to wear a hijab, even though she isn't Muslim, uh, to show solidarity with those who are being picked on and discriminated. Uh, and uh, that story had a great ending. She goes to her church and a lot of people come and hug her and say, hey, how can we help and we'd like to do this as well. Now in this case, Hawkins is also uh, deeply Christian and she says the reason she did it is, she said, Muslims like me, a Christian, are people of the book. And she said, we worship the same God. Now that's true. Uh, Islam is a monotheistic uh, religion. It, in Islam, uh, they believe that they are the third book. So it's the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Quran. So Islam actually believes all the old prophets, including Jesus Christ. Now, a lot of Americans don't know that, but that's true. She's absolutely right. They do worship the same God. Allah just means God in Arabic. And in fact, in the Quran, you know who comes back to save us all? Well, Muhammad, obviously, right? No. Jesus H. Christ. So, because Jesus Christ is a prophet of Allah in the book. Allah just means God. So what she did is fantastic. It's drawing attention to it. She's being brave. And she's supporting someone that she feels is being picked on which as a Christian seems like the right thing to do. That's what Jesus Christ did. He stepped up for the needy. And he said, let those of you without sin cast the first stone. So uh, the Wheaton administrators were like, hey, give me a stone, somebody. Hurry up, <laughs> let's cast it. So uh, immediately there are consequences. Uh, they've uh, put, her, put her on administrative leave. Now she's a tenured professor. Uh, I, I, I know they're a private even evangelical college, so I guess they can do whatever they want, but is it the right thing to do? Well, they said, I don't know this whole thing about people of the book, I'll have to look into it. And then they went on to say, in a statement on the school's website, officials said a full review of the theological implications of her statements would be required before her suspension was reconsidered. Part of what I enjoy about that statement is, um, we don't really know what's in the Quran and not sure how well it jives or doesn't jive with the Bible. It's not like we're an evangelical Christian college who should know about theology. Oops. Uh, yeah, we don't know anything about that. We're kind of dumbasses. So we're going to have to look into it. But just in case, let's make sure we punish her first. No go good deed goes unpunished. Uh, mighty Christian of Wheaton College to strike first and ask questions later.
the, the, the majority of Christians of the world, the vast majority of the Christian world, worship a man as a god it's dis, of a distinct person from the Father. That's very important. And they believe in what is called the doctrine of the Trinity, which was uh, a, really a, a, a self-inflicted wound with the church brought upon itself, a wound from which they never recovered. So therefore Christianity is absolute idolatry because, and in fact in many ways it's the worst form of idolatry because Christians genuinely worship the God, the Father. They worship the Father as the uh, God, as the creator of the universe, but in addition to him they worship Jesus. Now it's very important. They, they're, almost all uh, Trinitarians worship Jesus as a distinct person from the Father. So that means they have a husband, God, but they have on the side somebody else who they pray through, who they pray to, and therefore it's complete idolatry. Um, and, it's, and it's worse in, a, in that sense than just worshiping stones and trees and so on, because those who just worship idols and, and so on, they don't worship a father. They're not married to the Father. So therefore, that's why if you look at the Ten Commandments, the, the sin of this kind of what's called a partnership of God and someone with God is, is, is a commandment with, with the Torah warns us even before worshiping stones. The Ten Commandments in Exodus 20 begin, I am the Lord your God who took you out of Egypt from the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods upon my face. And this is what Elijah was facing in 1 Kings 18. Jews who, they worship Baal. But it's very clear they all shall worship God, the God of Israel. They worship both. And Elijah asked them, how long are you going to try to have both? This is the worst thing. So, um, now, um, so Christianity definitely falls into the area of idolatry utterly and completely, and the Jew, in fact, is called upon to give his or her life rather than be convert to Christianity, which many thousands of Jews did throughout history. Islam has a very unique status, and again, this is an area of idolatry, uh, in that the Islam is, is definitely not idolatry. M Muslims worship one God absolutely worship one God. Uh, there are Christians who make claims about Islam that they worship moon gods. That's absolute nonsense. Uh, Muslims worship one God. They're very clear about that in Surah 2, 163. It's, it's very clearly outlined in the Quran that there is no else, just one God. And, and therefore, Islam has a unique status in that they are not idol worshippers at all. They worship one God. So some people feel that they have to distance Islam from Christianity and John Gilchrist explained why this is so. Because they see that Islam is coming from within, holding many of the same beliefs and at the same time questioning some very important ones. So one needs to, to either have a good answer for that or to say that Islam is so strange you need not pay any attention to it. Start with Allah, he is not Yahweh uh, of the Bible. But of course every historian of religion will agree that Allah of the Quran is the Yahweh of the Bible. We differ with Christians in that Christians say that Yahweh had a son and we say that Yahweh whom we call Allah did not have a son. Thank you.